Hey again guys, it's me Huge. Today I'm going to show off a guild run with it of Skunk. It's a bit messy, it was my first time running this dungeon. The fight is riddled with mistakes, especially from me. Right here you can see how I realized I forgot to equip the soul stone, which was a huge mistake. And again guys, I'm really sorry about that. I'm never going to hear the end of this, am I? And before I explain the fight, I really have to thank Operator, our guild member who made this possible. He's the one who planned this and put the group together, and he supplied us with a soul stone which let us skip the majority of this dungeon, so I'm really thankful for that. The fight consists of fighting four Sadidas, one starving doll, and the boss a skunk. In theory, this fight is really easy, but the lack of cooperation can make this fight take ages. The Starving Doll has 130 all resistances and fully heal all of the monsters on this map every turn. So getting rid of him first is a must. As far as I can tell, there's two ways of doing that. You can either have a panda on your team, lower his resistance, you guys can kill him normally, or you can feed him summons. Whenever the Starving Doll kills a nearby summon, he permanently gains 1 AP. And when he reaches 14 AP, he'll cast the spell Explosive Digestion, which deals damage to all of the players on the map as well as kills the Starving Doll. That's why it's highly recommended for you to have at least an Osamoda or a Sadida with you when doing this dungeon. Next up is Emeralda. She's one of the more annoying Sadidas because she keeps swapping places with you and teleports around. Because of this, she can ruin any strategies you and your party has going for it. I would recommend killing her after the doll. Then there's also Diamondine. She can summon lethal dolls at range. These dolls, they will one-hit you if they get into melee range with you, but they only have one MP, so they should be pretty easy to kite, or if not, you can just kill them. Then there's Ruby. She can turn you into a totem, which will make you lose all of your AP and all of your MP, as well as damage you for one turn. She can also summon totems that can deal damage, heal the Sadidas, or buff the Sadidas. And the last Sadida is Saphira. She's not too hard to deal with. She can go invisible though, like a SRAM. That's basically her whole thing. So as long as you keep track of her MP whenever she goes invisible, I think you can track her down. Or if you don't, she's only invisible for two turns, so just wait it out. Last but not least, there's Skunk. He's the big bad evil guy of this dungeon. But honestly, he's probably the least dangerous one in this fight. He acts kind of like an Eniripsa. He has tons of healing, and he can remove MP. He also has an AoE attack called Lightning Strike, which deals fire damage to all of the enemies around him. I would recommend either killing him pretty early into the fight, or keeping him away from the rest of the group, either by locking him, or just pushing him away, basically. As you guys probably already know, at the end of this dungeon, you get Eucalyptus Dofus. It's a Dofus that gives between 6 to 30 prospecting, it's random, so you might have to run this dungeon multiple times to get a good one, or buy one. That's it for the explanation of this fight. I hereby welcome you to watch me and my guildies struggle with this fight for about an hour. Thanks.
And as you guys can see, I got a 26 prospecting Calyptus Dofus. It's so much better than the 19 prospecting one I had before. So I'm really happy for that upgrade. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll probably do another video on this dungeon later, when we don't skip a bunch of mobs and just do a more in-depth guide on the whole dungeon, basically. Anyways, thanks for watching, and see ya!